Now, for more perspective on the suspension of Ibrahim Magu as acting chairman of EFCC, legal practitioner Frank Tete joins me now for perspective on this de development. Good to have you, General Frank Tete. Now, um, Ibrahim Magu has been uh, inv or investigated or questioned for the past five days by this investigative panel. And now he has been um, suspended by the president, and we believe this is based on the recommendations of this panel. So help us understand... Um, uh, according to the law, um, the, the guidelines or the, the law backing um, such a panel? All right, thank you very much. The president has very wide powers under the Tribunals and Inquiries Act to set up any panel to inquire into any matter. Now, this is a matter that has uh, been, uh, been weighed upon by the, the Attorney General of the Federation who is a constitutional minister. It's not like an, any other minister of government. He's a chief law officer of uh, the Federation, has uh, recommended uh, this, uh, made certain recommendations that has made this panel to be very, very necessary. And so uh, the, the, what the panel is um, doing is in order because uh, this uh, Magu has been a presidential nominee and has enjoyed the privilege and support of the president for five years as acting chairman of the EFCC, something that is unprecedented. And if the personality or, and the constitutional personality of the Attorney General uh, says that uh, Magu is culpable, uh, that there are certain allegations against him, it is only fit and proper that the President has considered this panel. Uh, what is worrisome is that um, not much is uh, being made known to the public with regards to what's going on, the allegations against uh, uh, Magu. They shouldn't only be uh, snippets that we get from the press, but there should be an official indictment that is made public, and uh, nothing should also preclude uh, or the members of the press from witnessing the inquiry that is going on now. After all, they're not dealing with matters that um, of uh, the nature of national security. So I think what is going on, in, including the suspension, by the way, Magu wasn't, uh, hasn't enjoyed the scrutiny and confirmation of the Senate it's not a, he's not a substantive, he has never been a substantive chairman. So there are no special rights other than the fact that he's a policeman and a citizen of Nigeria. So it, 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 it's not proper that he's been detained against his fundamental right without an order of court. However, with regards to the initiate, uh, the, the, the proceedings that have been initiated against him, they are perfectly in order and according to the law. All right, so legally speaking, we know that his lawyer, um, one of his lawyers, Kanu Agabi, has also been with him um, through the questioning. So legally speaking, um, where do you see this going from here? Well, I, I think um, what, is expected, what, did, what, what is expected by recommendations and prescriptions of the law is that uh, Magu be charged immediately. He cannot, his constitutional rights cannot be, uh, he cannot be deprived of him and then the, uh, on, the, on the guise of a tribunal, an inquiry, a, a committee, that been, a panel that has been set up by the president. He should be charged to court, and then uh, the, whatever allegations they have against him should be made public. Uh, that his lawyer is with him is okay, it's, uh, it's, it's fine. It's something that uh, Magu has superintended over such breaches in the past. He has not uh, given much respect for the fundamental rights of Nigerians that have been arrested by the EFCC while he was in charge. But that's notwithstanding, I think that it is fit, it's proper that uh, uh, Magu has his lawyer to guarantee his constitutional rights. There are questions that he may not have to answer, and there are questions that he needs to also consult his uh, lawyer before he answers. But I don't think that he, we should exalt a panel to that level. These are things that should be before a conventional court. If there are allegations before uh, against Magu, Magu is a citizen of Nigeria, beyond being a policeman. He should be charged to court, and these things should be made public. Legal practitioner Frank Tete, thanks for sharing your perspective with us.